Good morning, good morning, loves. And so I heard your request. I am so excited that people are starting to write in and request topics and ask me to cover certain things. I've had a, a really nice influx of clientele. Uh, very excited about that. Of course, it keeps me busy. However, I made time today to deal with one topic that came up more than anything. So apparently you guys want me to keep talking about magic and money, and I'm good with that. I am good with that. Two of my favorite topics. So, hey, let's get with it, okay? What was, what else would a Scorpio be born to talk about, right? Magic and money. So <clears throat> sometimes we don't have a great understanding of magic, <laughs> okay? And I know y'all are probably like, okay, here she comes. Yes, here I come. So we don't have a great understanding about magic and we don't have a lot of self-control when it comes to money. Let me tell you guys what I love about having clients, especially my VIP clients. They keep me on my toes. They remind me of who I was before I came into this, this, this path and before I started along this journey, this leg of the journey, right? Because the journey continues. Um, and so sometimes when dealing with my VIP clients, um, I find that I have to go back to some things that it's easy to assume most people have, but they don't. So this may feel slightly remedial, but when I tell you, if you get this, everything about your life can change in a short period of time. Okay. First of all, magic. Okay. Magic does not do the impossible. This is not TV. Okay. Magic works to amplify the things you're already doing, the things you're already saying, the places you're already going to, to increase the likelihood of a good outcome. It doesn't even guarantee a good outcome all the time because it cannot, right? I give you an example. So for today, uh, I have one of my blends on sale, pay me. Pay me as strong as hell. I have used it repeatedly because I'm often owed money, <laughs> okay? And people who can afford to pay me typically pays me within about eight to 12 days after I start that working. But it cannot um, all of a sudden materialize money in the pockets of a person who don't have it. So if a person is not paying you just because they want to be out there, you know, fucking off their money, it's not going to it's not going to uh, be the same as a person who's out there who cannot pay you because they do not have the money. So even with using pay me, if a person is broke and their account is empty, it's not going to work. However, using pay me will, will help you to see rather when they say I ain't got it, rather that's true or not. <laughs> okay. Cause if they have it, the way the energy works is it amplifies the memory. It makes them uncomfortable, so uncomfortable owing you that they find a way to pay you. If they can. Love's magic is not um, science fiction. It's high science. Okay. And what happens is you are working with the energy that's all around you. That's all around us all to amplify your intentions, to make it possible for you to have the things you desire. A good example. When I first started doing magic, I was fresh out of prison and I had nothing. And I started with what I could reasonably believe and push myself just a little bit past that, right? And so as I began to do magic, the first wave of, of influx of blessing didn't come just by millions of dollars falling into my lap. The first wave was people started giving me things and I was appreciative and I kept going. Then my son went and bought me a BMW, not just a regular ass car, a BMW. And I'm like, this is unbelievable. And I kept going. And then I was looking at, I didn't have a driver's license. My driver's license had been suspended and this and this and that. And then the next thing you know, boom, I had the money to get my driver's license back. And then boom, this was corrected. And then boom, that was corrected. And then I was on parole with travel restrictions, right? And when it was time for me to start my tour, I had to go ask for permission to travel which was not guaranteed. And sure enough, I got permission. The first time I asked, no problem. They made sure I could travel. And then after a few months, they just took me off report and said, hey, just call us and let us know when you're leaving and let us know when you get back. And it got to a place where I had no parole officer. I reported to the front desk and left. 
I come in and leave whenever I'm getting ready to go somewhere. They, you know, magic creates favorable circumstances out of what you have already done to your life, done with your life. It works with the energy that you bring to it. The more energy you bring to magic, the better your outcomes. And so when you, when you look at where you are right now, you have to take honest inventory. Do you overspend? Are you lazy? Have you been consistent with your magic? Have you been consistent with your business? Have you been consistent in your marketing? The, is your branding consistent? Do you do what you say you're going to do when people pay you? Are you excellent at delivery? And so your, your first bit of magic needs to be directed at you internally so that you can become, I'm sorry guys, so that you can become the best version of yourself so that create money and wealth and income avenues becomes an easier thing. Some people start money magic straight into the money and that's why they're frustrated because they want to do a few spells and have thousands of dollars, but they are not thousands of dollars qualified energetically. They don't know how to hold their money. They don't know how to care for money. Money has to be cared for. Money don't care about you. You have to care about it. Your money is a resource, a tool to be used in your life. What do you want it for? You always start there. Don't start with a number. Start with the thing because money itself is just paper. It's only important once you put it to work. So magically, the easiest thing to do if you want to start manifesting um, considerable income is to number one, start working on your mindset. What is it about you that has been comfortable operating with so little for so long? Okay. Do you feel worthy of wealth? Do you feel worthy of this abundant experience? Do you feel that it's possible for you? Because sometimes you don't feel like you're worthy. Sometimes you don't feel like it's possible for you. Sometimes you disqualified yourself because who your parents were, where you grew up at or where you were born at and who you're dating. And I don't disqualify you. Pardon my voice, guys. I've been doing a lot of talk. Now I had so many sessions. <laughs> okay. So work on your mindset. The second thing is work on your energy level. If you're going to use energy to prosper from, you need energy. And so all the things that you have been giving your energy to that has no return on investment, you cut that shit off immediately. If you've been in and in and out of this dead end ass relationship, he sometimes calling, he sometimes texting, sometimes he's in a bad mood and all this sometimes shit, fuck him. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to tell you right there, just to fuck him is going to improve your finances. You can't even see the correlation, but all this energy that you got, because where your thoughts go, energy flows right behind it. So all this energy of trying to figure out him and her and them and they and all this has been distracting from your bottom line, and it will continue to. Magic makes sense. It's not a senseless um, fluffy thing like you see on TV. It makes sense. So when I started working on myself, I started seeing the difference. I started doing affirmations and mantras and I continually grew them as I grew. Your your affirmations and your mantras are not going to be perfect when you start. Fuck everybody who tell you they need to be. They are going to be an improvement from, and that's what they're supposed to be, an improvement from where you are now. I love Valerie Love. Um, one of the things that back when I first was transitioning from church into mysticism, she was the Christian witch. And that was an easy uh, transition for me. So I ran my butt over there and I started following her on YouTube and all this. And I remember a very powerful uh, YouTube uh, video that she did. And she said that when she went through a divorce from the guy that she was with before, all she knew all she knew at that moment was she didn't never want another broke man, never. And she said, no broke, no more broke jokers ever. And then the next thing you know, she manifested being in a relationship with a man and that man won the lottery and they lived off that lottery for a buku years. And so 
somebody could say, well, that wasn't perfect form or she shouldn't use negatives in her affirmation. It worked because she meant it. Like spirit is not stupid. Your frequency is what you're using when you're manifesting. Shadow work is different. When you're dealing with your subconscious, that's different. Now you got to be careful of this, that, no. That was a divine declaration that she made with all the power she could muster never again. And when she said it like that, that's exactly what it had to be. And so you start where you can start based upon where you are. What can you believe that's better than where you are right now? Start right there and, and commit to that. And when you find that you open up to more possibilities, incorporate that. Can you believe tomorrow for a little bit more than you did today? Yes. So I'm going to incorporate that in my affirmations and my mantras. And then can you believe a little bit better? Yes. So you incorporate that. So day by day, you're on a growing, you're, you're growing into this divine, powerful entity that can have what you say. Listen, so I have a newsletter is, uh, for those who need to know, it's tinyurl.com uh, forward slash magical mystic, M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L mystic, right? So anyway, I write for this newsletter every week. And I was doing some research because this month is prosperity month, it's ancestor month, it's hoodoo month, it's a whole bunch of different kind of months, okay? It's harvest time, <laughs> okay? So all of this magic is now, it's, it's the season of fall, it's just beautiful, it's, it's, it's a lot. This is a perfect energy for me. But I was doing research about wealth because my thing is, I don't want to just give you guys... Um, information about money um, from a magical perspective. I want you to be prepared from a physical or a natural perspective. So I ended up somehow getting the numbers for what constitutes the top 10%, the top 5%, or the top 1% of earners. And I remember when I got 10%, I was like, well, I knew that. Then top 5%, I was like, hmm. Because it's a whole lot of people who got way more than me. A whole lot of people. Being a millionaire ain't even, ain't even fancy no more. There are over 20 million millionaires who earn multiple millions per year in the United States alone. And that number is growing all the time. So you don't really think about it while you're building your legacy about how far you've come. When I got to the number for top 1%, and found myself there, realizing I grew up with a grandmother who couldn't read and write, getting welfare, living in the projects in a little bitty ass city called Warren, Arkansas. I was undone, undone. What caused that success? Magic. Magic on myself, magic for myself. The mantras, the affirmations, the honoring that which I was learning. I wasn't in a rush to know everything. Every little thing I learned, I wanted to try. Because what's the use in filling my head with a bunch of shit I'll never be able to use? And I still teach like that in my mentorships. Rather you're doing it from a spiritual perspective or you're doing a money mentorship, whichever mentorship you're in, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Don't run out there trying to get all this knowledge you're never going to do anything with. Whatever you learn today, figure out how to apply it by tomorrow. Work, work wisdom and work knowledge into your life. You want to craft it in almost like crocheting, knitting, if you will. And by doing so, you put knowledge into the fabric of your life. And no matter what things happen or come, because I ain't gonna lie to you, I was the first in the family. So there was no family member to go ask for direction and knowledge and information. I didn't know who I could trust out there. So I've made a lot of mistakes financially, but I have not been undone financially. I have made a lot of missteps, jumped too fast at some things, didn't jump fast enough at other things. And at the end of the day, I still stand top 1%. That's not a brag. That is encouragement. Because I'm going to tell you, you don't have to believe me. Because some people be super duper impressed with me like I always have been this person. I have not. I have not. 
The amount of work that went into the me you see is proof that any MF and body, <laughs> okay, can do this and do it and do it and do it until they satisfied and do it some more to have the exact kind of life that they couldn't even imagine once upon a time is possible for them. That's not always about a specific number. I wasn't really uh, capable of believing for the numbers I've hit. But I was believing for a life of freedom, a life of safety. I wanted to be safe in my body, safe in my home, capable of taking care of myself no matter what. You know, you age out of being a sugar baby. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> you age out of that shit. I mean, your body stops changing. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. I'm almost 50. Can you imagine if Mia was still my financial plan? You know what I'm saying? Some people can still do it. I wouldn't want to do it. My brother could do it at 20. Okay, because my personality ain't cut for that. That just wasn't my thing. And you think about all the old drug dealers we know. In every hood, 50 and 60, still trying to hustle to pay the light bill. It's sad. If you don't think you can get trapped in a low frequency, you can. But just like you can get trapped in a low frequency, a pitiful frequency, a I don't know what I'm going to do from one day to the next frequency, you can also live continually in a frequency of abundance of truth, of power, of wholeness, wellness, happiness. That doesn't have to end. And I want you to, to reflect back on how long some of your struggles have lasted, okay? Because for me, I mean, I got years and years and years and years of some bullshit, okay? Some years and years and years and years of bullshit. Why should I expect that good shit should last shorter than the, than the, than the bullshit? No. If it can last, it can last. What is it? Whatever it is. That's how I use my magic. That's how I teach others to use their magic. And I hope that this um, inspired you to use your magic. What is using your magic? Wielding your energy intentionally. Directing it with purpose toward goals rather than just being out here. All willy-nilly. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, um, talks about women. I never did like that scripture, but I knew I didn't want to be one of them, be, them, them women. But it talks about how these women have no root. And so they out there blowing around wherever the wind take them. Rootless. They're not planted. Easily swayed. Easy to manipulate. Easy to break. Easy, just easy for anything and everything. And those type of people sometimes blow easily into wealth and they blow out of it just as easily. Because no matter where you blow them, they're still rootless. You don't want to be rootless. And magic is not the place to be rootless, okay? And your money either. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on YouTube. And if you're watching on TikTok, be sure to follow and share with your friends. And if you're following on Facebook or Instagram and all those places, again, just go on, subscribe, follow, share, whatever you got to do, because I'm going to take you guys somewhere and I'm going to share more of my journey. And I look forward to serving you guys again soon. Go shop at MagicalMystic.com. Or get your classes at divinityacademy.com. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.